方向に全然行ってない。はいよ。This is from our camera reporter in Miyagi, and it looks and it looks like the tsunami has engulfed several cities in Miyagi Prefecture. Live footage of Miyagi as the tsunami has struck the area, obviously engulfing farms, homes alongside the river. In Sendai City, this is in Miyagi Prefecture. Tsunami live coverage of tsunami engulfing. The city in Sendai. For those of you who, that, who have just tuned in to NHK World, you're seeing live coverage from our helicopters of a tsunami engulfing Sendai area in Miyagi Prefecture. People near the coast should evacuate immediately. To higher ground, if they are. That warning was extremely good advice. Prefecture, northeastern Japan, an intensity of seven was recorded on the uh, R studios. When earthquakes hit newsrooms, it's easy to see straight away how powerful they are. And if they're out to sea, just off the coast, then the tsunami doesn't take long to turn up. And this is a look once again at Kamaishi City in Iwate Prefecture. And it looks like the tsunami has been engulfing. Engulfing the port. You're seeing live footage of a tsunami engulfing the port area of Kamai City in Iwate Prefecture. We've been reporting earlier on that the, the meteorological agency has issued a warning for tsunami up to six meters deep, uh, six meters high, and this is what's happening right as we speak. A large tsunami engulfing. The port of Kamaishi in Iwate Prefecture. This is from our camera reporter in Miyagi, and it looks and it looks like the tsunami has engulfed several cities. Images yet more terrifying emerge from the same Pacific coast. The huge tide just appears to eat anything in its path. The road. Look how tiny the cars are. From 7.9, one of the worst earthquakes ever in Japanese history. In fact, it's, it's the seventh most powerful earthquake in history. None of the other six were in areas anything like as populated as this. The Japanese Prime Minister appeared on TV to put into play a plan they'd rehearsed for years. We will secure the safety of the people of Japan, and in order to minimize the damage, the government will make every effort possible. And we ask the people of Japan to continue to be cautious and vigilant and keep tuned in to the reports on the television and radio, and we ask the people of Japan to act calmly. While that was all happening in the northeast of Japan, Tokyo, the capital further south, was feeling it as well in different ways. TV channels showed fires burning, people trapped in high-rise buildings. Everywhere down the eastern seaboard of Japan, Images which show how enormous the economic and social damage of this will be. This is the airport at Sendai, population one million. People who escaped to the roof found themselves trapped, surrounded by a giant inland sea.
In various places, oil terminals erupted in flames. Fire crews unable to do anything. At least it sounds like nuclear plants went into automatic shutdown. All the same, this bears the hallmarks of a disaster of absolutely historic proportions. Geological experts have warned that while the tsunami roared west towards Japan, it also moved in every other direction, placing much of the Pacific Rim at risk. At least in other places, there's time for people to move, which there wasn't here. But the echoes of this are going to be felt across much of the Earth's surface. Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera.